One of the great pleasures of ChessBase 17 combined with Mega Database 2024 is the almost infinite amount of deeply commented games by the greatest players in the world. Now, I love a good chess book with commented games just as much as the next person, and I have a collection of them with deeply commented games by Alekhine, by Kasparov, games of Spassky, and many more. But when you get Mega Database 2024, you are getting not just a dozen books, you're getting the equivalent of a hundred or a thousand together. Let me show you how you can access this gold mine of brilliant games. So here we have Mega Database 2024 inside of Chessbase 17, and I'm gonna double click on it. And I open it up and I'm given this splash screen showing me Mega Database 2024, Mega Database, and so forth and so on. And at the top here, you can see there's a bunch of little tabs. And this is the key. Now, if I go to games, I'm given, of course, that huge list of 10 million games, but that's not really helpful. And I'm not gonna suggest you're going through this long search process because there's a much easier way to find all of those brilliant games. We're gonna move over to players, tournaments, annotator. That's the key tab that we're looking for. So we're going to click on that. Now here it's in alphabetical order. What we could do here is click on the tab here called title. Now you can see over here we have last name, first name, total, ELO, title. Let's click on title and see what we get. Okay, so now we have this long list. And as you can see, it's ordered first by the world champions. Then if women's world champions, that's what the WWCH means. And finally, we're going to have grandmasters. Then it's ordered by ELO rating. Now, first of all, as you can see, just in the world champions, Magnus Carlsen, for example, we have 26 commented games. Now, you're going to ask me, so how well commented are these games? I mean, are we talking some informants, some, you know, some symbols and some, maybe some light notes? Or are we talking really good stuff? Well, let's take a look. Let's take Magnus Carlsen here. And we have a list over here. And if we slide over to the side, you're gonna notice this little column, VCS. That's actually kind of crucial to understand what the quality of comments are or how detailed they are. If you see capitalized letters, that's where it really means you're gonna get a lot of it. And the V is for variant, the C is for comments, and the S is for symbols. And if you were to see a lowercase V or C, uh, or S. That means there are fewer of those inside of the notes, and it might be a little more light notes or some few comments and a few variations. However, we can see that most of these games by Carlson are all with capital letters. So let's see what we have here. So let's open up Magnus Carlson versus Adams. I'm going to double click on it. And as you can see already, there's a lot of text involved. So we have a lot of comments by him. But what kind of comments are we looking at here? So I'm going to look at, let's say, 7A4, okay? And what does he say? He says, I spent more than 25 minutes combined on this and the next move, time that I would later curse myself for having wasted. Part of the time was spent pondering whether the extra H6 move could somehow be used to my advantage after D4 and Bishop B6. I cannot imagine why I thought it might, but mostly I was trying to figure out how I could favorably expand on the queen side. So this is great because this is not just simply like my idea was this and my plan was that. Here he talks about how much time he spent, uh, his thoughts in hindsight, cursing himself for having wasted it, and even wondering what on earth possessed him to think that there might be some key or some uh, special move with H6. Yes, this is absolutely book quality commentary. And if I were to tell you, you could buy a book of 26 deeply annotated games for I don't know how many euros or dollars, you'd jump on it. I know I would, because Carlson's, of course, the number one. And here you already have 26 inside of Mega Database. You have Gary Kasparov. You have Robert Fisher. Yes, really. You have Vladimir Kromnik. And a quick note on Vladimir. Vladimir is the kind of guy who's capable of producing pages of notes on his games. It's kind of cool because you get all of this commentary by him telling you the story of the match, the move, the plans, the so forth and so on. And you really get an insight as to how deep a thinker Kramnik is uh, as a chess player. And of course, the list goes on. And as you can see, we have 26 games here. We have 59 by Kasparov, annotated by Anand. We have 273 games, 68 by Kramnik. 28 by Kazimzanov, Ponomaryov, Kalifman, 
Uh, Alakin, yes, 229 games commented by Alakin. We have games by Iowa. We have Capablanca, Lasker. Lasker? Do we really have comments by Lasker? Yes, you really do. But we don't just have old grandmasters and great players. We have the modern ones, like Nakamura, like Caruana. And as you can see, we have 47 games. And we're not just talking about this slightly older generation of 30-year-old top players. What about the new generation of Indian players, such as Argun Aragaisi? Yes, he's there. There are actually nine games. There's a little repeat here of his uh, name. But there are nine games annotated by him, so you can see how he's thinking uh, and how he analyzes. You have Gukesh. You have Abdusadarov. You have Faruja. But it's not even just detailed comments by these modern players. You even have great comments by players of the 90s who may not be listed here as the world champions or so forth, and whose ratings today may not be what they once were, let's say, 30 years ago. Let's go down and see, for example, Shirov. Now, Shirov is a brilliant player who's considered in many ways, and justifiably, as the heir to Mikhail Tal. Not just because they're actually from the same country, but because they also have or are famous for the same sacrificial style of play. Now, today, Shirov is no longer in the top three or four players in the world as he once was. But when he was, oh my goodness gracious. And that's one of the reasons why he wrote one of the most famous chase books around, Fire on the Board. So let me open up a game just quickly so you can see what we're talking about. And this was played in 1997. So you can see that wasn't recently. But is it really these great sacrifices that I'm talking about? Yes, it really is. And these are annotated by Shirov himself. So let's go down here and I'll give you an idea as to what we're looking at here. Okay, so this is the position. White just played rook to d4, okay? And what does Shirov play? Shirov plays queen takes d4. Yes, he just gave up his queen. And it's not a mating attack. There's no guaranteed win here or anything. This is fire on the board by Mr. Shirov himself. So we'll just quickly move it over. He takes, of course, what else is he going to do? Uh, this is Gelfand, one of the top players in the world, particularly in the 90s and the early 2000s. He actually challenged Anand for the title in 2010, if I'm not mistaken. Takes here. Now, of course, we have some real problems, but is that worth a queen? Well, yes. It actually works, and if you ask the engine, the engine is actually going to say, yes, queen takes d4 is a great move. But it doesn't win. It just keeps a very very dynamic balance. And here you can see you have a lot of deep analysis as well. And deservedly, because trying to understand that complete chaos on the board is going to require some analysis. So you're going to have a lot of fun playing through these games by Shirov and others uh, with these brilliant annotations by the players themselves sometimes. And you're going to have other analysts like uh, Yasser Serwan, who has wonderful annotations, lots of fun, and tells a lot of great stories. Really, you're just drowning in options here. And in terms of deeply commented, wonderful games, honestly, you've got enough here for a lifetime. Uh, so I would strongly recommend you take a look at this if you're looking at some really great content. And that, my friend, is the lesson of the day.